वेलकम टू अ फ्रेश न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ बुक्स विनिटी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी डिफरेंट बुक आई जस्ट रेड अ फ्यू डेज बैक एंड इट वाज अमेजिंग दैट्स व्हाई आई आई डू नॉट एक्चुअली यू नो माय इनिशियल थॉट्स ऑफ मेकिंग दिस वीडियो वाज दैट आई विल मेक इट ऑन अ नॉन फिक्शन बुक व्हिच आई रिसेंटली रेड but uh, then this book was like i i actually want to read it and i actually want to review it because this is by paul paula hawkins the girl on the train and this book is interesting very interesting to read um it is it is it is it is different from what we see in obvious books in obvious fiction books this is a thriller book now if i am talking about thriller what people initially think is that this the book will talk about some murder some crime which is which has taken place yes i am not saying that this book doesn't has a crime it has but this book is different the writing format of the author is different and that is what makes this book interesting the very first thing is the author has written it in a form of a diary now when i see say diary it is that the person who is saying it is actually recording his own events and this book is actually divided into like basically into two characters rachel and megan so one once rachel's part ends megan's part starts so this chapter keeps on fluctuating rachel megan rachel megan and it is a kind of diary right and uh, rachel is one of my favorite characters in this book because she is one of the main characters and uh, her character develops i mean every character develops and her character evolves and uh, it is a story of two people okay it's a story of two people basically rachel who is suffering from anxiety who is suffering from depression she is an alcoholic uh, i don't know if i am giving you spoilers but uh, i should not give you spoilers it's a story between two girls and one boy so you can know what uh, i'm going to talk about but there's crime in it there's a psychological thriller involved with this book so there is nothing short of sensational this is a great book and you should read it and uh, the book cover itself is so fascinating the chapters are very fascinating and one more thing it is a very fast paced book although i'll say it has around 405 415 pages but it is very fast paced it is the story travels very fast and you know you need to uh, get in details and actually how to read the, uh, books like these what i do is i generally um, do one thing and uh, i'll request you all also while you are reading a book try this try power of imagination try power of visualization if you can visualize what is written in the book you will be able to enjoy book a one step ahead because what i do is when i read books when i read these chapters i visualize these chapters in my mind i visualize the story in my mind so try to increase your power of visualization try to increase your power of imagination and if you can do that and then read this book it will be amazing it will be nothing short of a film it will be like a film like it would it would be that you are living in their world and you are a third person in that story and uh, observing the story so it will be amazing and if you are a very emotional kind of a person like me you will cry <laughs> reading this book you may cry reading this book and this book was very relatable some things which have happened in the past of my life was written in this book so i think yes again this book was very relatable to my own life so um, yeah do read this book do check out this book and it is it is a very very good book if you are someone who uh, likes thriller likes crime fiction anything like that go check this paula hawkins out um, other people who uh, uh, who you should read in crime thrillers or in thrillers would be elster macklin i would be making books and videos on him too and uh, one more person agatha christie do re- check her out too but before that do read paula hawkins once please we'll meet next sunday with one more video one more book 
probably non fiction book and a very special book uh, a book that changed my life next sunday till then bye bye